What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Oh yeah, today we are going to be jumping in and we've got a little bit of work to do. So first things first, we are going to sell our John Deere Combine. Why is that? Well, we got a new one. <laughs> That's right. We've got the brand new Ideal. Oh, and we went for the Challenger version. So we're going to come in here we're going to attempt to get everything sold. I don't know if we're going to be able to or not. There goes that. And then we just need to hop in here and hopefully bring the rest of this in. Will it work? That is the question. So that's as far as we can go in. So let's turn it off. And for some reason, let's raise it up and see something crazy happen. There we go. And get her sold. Let's repair. Boom. Boom. And let's get that repaired, and boom. So we got a little bit of money back for that. Oh, but it's right there. Oh, man. So we've gone for the Fent, I don't say Fent Ideal, the Challenger Ideal. Oh, yeah, we've gone with a custom Capello corn header and a custom painted rear, let's uh, say rear, combine header thing right there now this is a mod uh it is a painted case is what it is but not get, get out of my way where are you going let's jump up here can we get up here we, oh that's no we're, yeah we're up here let me in quit throwing stuff go, let me in this is mine there we go <laughs> what happened there oh me oh my so we've got it. We are good. This thing will hold a whole lot more than the John Deere would. I think about 3,000 liters more. This is going to be awesome. When we start getting stuff done with Harvest, this is going to be perfect. And not only that, oh, we went too far. Not only that, we've got a bit more power in here. And it is it, it's a little heavier in the front, too, than the last one was. We have huge Big old wheels in the front. We got massive doubles. Oh yeah, very Americanized. I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's get this guy taken back because once we get this on the farm, once we get it settled, we've got to get ready and do some bell wrapping. So we've got stuff to get done. We have the bells. We need to wrap them. What we've got, we've got a bunch of those, uh, square bells and round bells. And we've got implements to do each one. Now, of course, we could come through with a bell wrapper and do everything just fine. Oh, these the rear wheels are not even on the ground. Oh, my goodness. Let's spin this. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're on the ground about half the time. Interesting. And then I'm going to buy some chickens as well. That's right. We've got a brand new chicken pen, and I want to use it. I know some people have been talking about having problems with it. I've had zero problems with it. And I want to double check it and just make sure that it's not just me not having problems. If there was issues, I want to make sure that we address them. Nonetheless, let's get this guy brought in. Let's get it put away and put in its new home. Ah, yeah. Then it's time to rock, baby. What we've got here is open area. That's right. We've got a big, huge open area now. We did get in here and remove some trees. Well, what do I want to put here? Well... I would love to put that new chicken pin here because, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. So where are we going to put it? How about this? Let's bring it up. Animal pins. Now, we do have mercury chicken coops, which are very good. Very good. They hold 100 chickens each. Well, we've also got this guy right here, chicken stables with feed silo. Now, this will hold 495 chickens. A few more. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna check it out, and we're gonna say, hmm, where do we wanna put it? So we don't need to come down to this end down here for anything. The chickens just kinda come out and roam around. So I'm thinking we could probably put it right here and be totally fine. But that's if we can get it right there without the ground kinda going crazy. So maybe we move it just a bit and we put it behind the horses right here. So we kind of figure out where, okay, but there's good. And place it down. There we go. Not too bad. Pretty good place for that. Let's go through. Let's make this look a little bit nicer. So first things first, we need a road to get from over here 
back to here. At least a little turnaround spot. So we're going to go into painting and we're going to find our dirt road and simply bring it along. Hopefully we don't mess up that any. Here we go. Good, good, good. Nice. So we're here. Let's go square it off just so we can hit this entire area. Bang, bang, bang. Got it. Now this is working pretty darn well. I gotta say, this is working pretty well. There we go. We got that. And through there. There you go. Not a whole lot else that we need to do for that. Other than maybe getting in here and smoothing out this. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see the ground right now? Let's roll through. And there we go. Get it up to number three. And then roll through here and smooth this out. There we go. Now this is this is much, much better. There we are. Sweet. Yeah, that was for some reason a little, a little weird, a little funky. Everything is good now. Everything is good. Let's get the square. Oh, bad. Bad. Good. Okay, we're better. <laughs> we've got to come through and plant or uh, paint some of that grass in. For now, I just want to go through and get a nice grass edge around the outside. Just about like that. And a little bit out. I just want this grass, uh, if you guys can see kind of what I'm doing over there as well. Just taking the grass where it is and bringing it out a little bit. That's all. Here we go. Get all that smooth out. Perfect. Now, it's time to, well, plant some grass where we messed up and bring something in here and feed these guys. Now, from my experience, I'm pretty sure they're going to need a whole lot more than the amount of wheat that we've got to give them. Nonetheless, let's get this about, uh, eh, you know, just in the general vicinity. There we go. That's good. And go ahead and buy some chickens. Now, what are we going to get? We are going to go with brown chickens. And we're going to have to buy a lot of these. Again, 495 I believe it was. But we want the biggest profit and the biggest um yeah, profit. <laughs> I want more eggs, darn it. So we're going to go until we get them all done so we can get as many eggs as possible. Confirm. $24,750 later, we have chickens. Let's open this up. Take a look. Make sure they're all there. There they are. Hello, little baby chickens. All right, let's get out of here before they decide to get out. Close the doors. Perfect. Now let's back this up and let's see if I can get this to... Uh, back up the way the other one did oh yeah yeah there's definitely some uh moving around that you have to do i've had many many times many, many much trouble trying to get this to work and coming at it from there i've got it to work coming at it from this way before there we go oh so we got the trigger just for a second there we go that's gonna fill that up hopefully it doesn't push us too far out of the way it pushed a little bit. See, it's just, it does it. It'll work. And it's not this trailer. Actually, it is kind of this trailer in a bit. There we go. Just, it just pushes it just outside those lines. It has to be perfect. Maximum capacity for feeding surfaces to the animals has been reached for, what does that say, 10 days? Goodness gracious. Boom. Right there. We are good. Let's double check our chickens. Go through here. There they are. They've got all the food that they could possibly ever want. Productivity, uh, well, it's going to be 100%, but at zero. So we want the eggs. That is what we want with the chickens. That's why we got the chickens. We want the eggs. And so they'll come out here and kind of hang around and peck a bit, as, as it were. So let's go through here and let's find them some grass. How about that? painting let's let's bring this down bring it down that's a little too high to know exactly where we're at but right there that's good right there painting grass actually let's give them some dirt grass and they are very happy yeah see nothing wrong with that one bit let them peck around in the grass and have a good time happy chickens produce a lot of eggs and a lot of eggs are good for making money now that the chickens are done, we need to focus all of our attention on getting these bales started or finished, one or the other. So what we want is we can go ahead and come in here into the store. Here's what we want to get. 
we want to go into bailing technology. And then we want to go over till we see these guys right here. The IFX 720 extractor and the Hybrid X extractor. Now we could use both of these if we wanted to, but I want to use one of each. So we're going to go with the IFX 720 doing our round bells. So we're going to click on that. And these are going to be purchases. These will not be leases. Actually, you know what? We can... We're going to have them for a while. Let's lease them. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to buy them, rather. Foil color. Let's change it up. And let's go green for the round bells. Purchase. There we go. And for our square bells, oh, we're going black all the way. I love that black color on square bells. So we're going with that. Purchase. Yes, please. Boom. Man, these things look good. I love it. I love it. I love it. What vehicles do we have? Well, we've got the JCB that is going to be in charge of doing all the round bills. They're not stacked crazy high. We can get to the very top. Yada, yada, yada. On and on. And then we are going to use the Manitou. Manitou? Yeah, Manitou. <laughs> Just make sure I didn't say Mahindra again. We're going to use the Manitou doing the square bells. Not only is the JCB faster, we're going farther away with it. Not only is the Manitou slower, but we're not going very far at all. And we need to get up high. So these implements right here, these vehicles are perfect for what we want to do. And all we've got to do is get them set, get them in the right place, and just start moving. So let's start with round bells. the last bell and i gotta tell you i think if i had more bells this thing would just keep going i mean <laughs> look i mean it's not like the longest run ever but goodness gracious there's a few here that's for sure let's take this nice and easy boom 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 and last one come on don't 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 make me don't make me do something bad come on you've been so good this whole time there we go, that is good. We need to get this out of the way because this is about to finish. Take like that, and let's hit the finish button. And we've got it. And let's just drive it away, how about that? There we go, and turn that off. Perfect, so maybe I didn't have this as long as I thought I was going to, less than an hour. But yeah, look at this. We've got all of these. That's so cool. Now, how are we going to sell them? Well, I'm not going to use an Anderson product. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what? Yeah. Normally, I would come through here. I would use one of these. I'd use either the RBM 2000 or the RBM Pro 2000. We're not going to do that. Because what we are going to do is we're going to use an Adirante pack. Holds 30 Six. You heard me. <laughs> Don't you give me that. What What was that? You heard me. 36 bales. And we're going to take this. We're going to sell them all. Michelins or trailer borgs. We're going to go with Michelins. I feel like those are going to look better. Lease for $510. That's it. That is it. Now we do need to come through and open these up one by one. I wonder if I can do this quickly. Oh, it looks nasty. Oh, that's so gross. It's so hard to click in the same stick and run at the same time. Oh, almost. Yes. Check it out. Boom, baby. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We need something that'll pull this. Hmm. What do we have? What do we have that'll pull all of this? This truck is exactly what we're going to use for this. Let's cut our on our help window. And let's go ahead and run to operating position. What this is going to do 
So if we roll past it, it should just automatically pick these guys up. Keyword should. Let's roll nice and easy. You get it? Yes. It is pretty darn laggy if I'm if I'm honest. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's working. There we go. Oh, oh, come on. Did we get all 36? We got all 36. Now, as far as the game is concerned, these bells don't exist. Nowhere on Earth do these bells right here exist. And that's all right for us. Because that means that the trailer drives like there's a load on it. But it's not super heavy. We could still roll through. We can take turns fairly fast. And it not be top heavy. Now once we get to... Actually, slow down, baby. Where are we getting the best price for silage? First and foremost. Where was it? Where is it? So we've got... Buy a gas plant. $900. Whoa. I think I need to buy the biogas plant again, don't I? Nope, we own it. Ha ha. To the biogas plant we go. So I have done some math, which is super dangerous for me. There's about 140 some thousand liters of silage right here. Yeah, you heard me correct. So what we've got to do as soon as we start tip... Oh, that's right. We got to tip this. Crap. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on. Touch turno. It's got the uh, trailer hitch on the front, doesn't it? <gasps> Yo, is this going to work? I just bumped it. Uh, negative. Negative, Ghost Rider. Not working. Abort. Abort. No, 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 no. <laughs> So now we can make double money. We just gotta be real careful about how in the world we freaking back this thing up. Come on! It's doable. I grew up doing this, and it sucks. Come on. Nice and easy. There you go. Good boy. Now, as soon as we start unloading, we have got to change the time, like, immediately. Back it up. Nice and easy. Actually, can yeah, we're going to have to do it. Take a deep breath. So, unload bells. Hit Y, unload bells here. And then unload here. Now, this should, and I think it will, but it should do what I think it's going to do. Yep. Go, 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 go. Times 120. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> It's happening, baby. It's happening. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. We got to like... All right. There's some... There's going to be some stuff happening. I'm super sorry. But it is what it is. Is that all of it? Oh. One more. One more. And give it a swift kick. Nice. So that's that. That's what's going on. Let's go back to real time. Let's go get the rest of these bales and stop unloading. There we go. Roll back through, set it to operating position, and I imagine we should be able to get the rest of these no problem. It is going to get a little laggy again. Oh no, did it the wrong way. We missed a few. <laughs> it's all right. We'll get them. I just need to get this one. There we go. And then let's see if we can use my... Uh, nope, backup skills are not going to work. They worked once, not twice. Swing this baby around. There you go. And that is all of our bales. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. So we've got that. Let's uh, actually not hit anything. And I will tell you why I'm using that Arante pack as well. Because you may be looking at this being like, well, you know, it doesn't unload them properly. It doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. Well, that's okay. When you're selling, they don't need to be pretty coming off of here. All you need to do is just get rid of them. So think about that. Think about how are you, un not only how do you want to load them, how do you want to unload them? If I'm collecting bells to be sold, the load doesn't have to be pretty. The unload doesn't have to be pretty. I just need to do it and get it done. That's why I'm using this one. All right, let's do it one more time. This ought to be just fine. Go in. Real time. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unload the bells. Unload the bells. Here, go, go, go. Tip it, tip it, tip it. Come on! You're wasting my time! Go faster! Please? 
There we go. They're starting to go. Will it take them all or will they tip away? Come on. Get off of the trailer. You're wasting time. Fools. <laughs> there we go. Back to real time. Boom, baby. We are good. Helper G has completed their task. Who is Helper G? Oh, yeah, that's right. I came through and did uh, some try. Well, tried anyway to get some fertilization done. Seem to be working pretty well. Let's run across this field. We still are in the first growth stage, so we are okay. I'm not going to damage any crops, anything like that. Thank goodness. We decided to use the John Deere for this. I thought it would be a good, uh, good tractor to use for. I mean, what else are we going to use? Any of them. Actually, yeah, we can use any of them. Doesn't matter. Nonetheless, there we go. There's that. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. Let's stick it on another one real fast. And uh, let's check on our chickens, too. While we're around here, let's check on the chickens. Let's take this and drive it. Uh, we'll just drive it to the top of the field. Also, someone had asked in the previous video, they said that they were not doing cows or pigs anymore because the manure got everywhere. And the answer is yes. Yes, the manure does get everywhere. The, what you need to do is you need to clean it up. So make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're going through cleaning it up. All right. Will this let us do this? Yes, it will. Perfect. Oh, one box. You guys have been in there for a couple hours. Just one box? Hey. Oh, there's grass everywhere in there. Maybe that's why they're mad. Give us more eggs. Dang it. <laughs> Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. We're going to pick right up a little bit later doing the square bales, getting the square bales all wrapped up, ready to go, trying to get those guys sold as well. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop a like. If you already, please subscribe. If you have questions about what we've done today, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you guys out. With that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.